okay? That is not the purpose of metronome, to be ignored. You need to listen to it, internalize the pulse, and control your fingers, starting from the slower speed, very, very slow turtle speed, and then build up two clicks, two clicks at a time until you get to your desired tempo. And with this piece, listen to your left hand more than your right hand at times for tempo st stability. Practicing tips number two. It is very important to figure out your fingers right at day one of practice, especially with Bach. Again, back to our right hand is never ending 16 triplets, lots of notes. You're not gonna be able to remember where your fingers are supposed to go if you don't write down your fingers. There are sequences and patterns that repeat, and once you find them, figure out the fingers that works best for you and stick with it. It is nearly impossible for you to develop muscle memory if you use different fingerings every time. Muscle memory is when you just play the, the passage, the section so many times that your fingers just know where to go. So do yourself a favor and take the time to write in your fingerings day one of practice. All right, a side note on muscle memory. Another way to practice ingraining muscle memory is to play right hand, especially in this piece, with strong, firm fingers. Forte sound with different articulations. Sometimes play legato a few times, and then play it staccato a few times. The most important thing is to use strong fingers, firm fingers, forte sound, to force your finger to remember where it's supposed to go. And as you listen to yourself, it is very important for you to be honest with yourself. If you hear certain passages that just don't go right, that just doesn't feel right to you, then slow it down even more and identify the problem. Practicing tips number three. Lines and shapes to phrase and dynamic contrast. Once you get familiar with the notes, let's find ways to make the whole piece more musical. The first thing I notice is there's a lot of melodic notes that are at the last note of the triplet instead of the very first two figures. Since the first two notes are usually repetitive, accompaniment kind of figures, try to bring out those melodic notes and shape it. If the notes are going in descending order, then maybe stay crescendo and bring it down. If the notes are ascending, then bring those notes out crescendo and grow. Like in measure seven and eight, and then measure nine and 10. In certain sections like measure 10 and 11, you have left hand notes that I think are more important than the right hand. So in that case, bring out your left hand more and keep the right hand a little softer. In measure 16 and 17, this is an instance where their same figures repeat in the same measure. So I can play one forte in the second half piano or other combinations of dynamic contrast to, to make the section more interesting. Take a look at the notes I've made on my music and use it as reference for what you can do with the piece. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about my writing. All right. So those are my three practicing tips for you with this Bach prelude. Now, here is what not to do. Don't play the entire piece through and call it practice because when you first start to learn a piece, it is very overwhelming for your brain to make sense of everything that you see on the page. You will miss patterns, notes, fingerings, and more. Do the detailed work, slow practice, and make sense of the piece right on day one. It really makes your piano practice more efficient. I can guarantee you that you can make sense of this piece in less than a week if you practice just one small section a day and build up your focus for the piece instead of just trying to stumble across the piece, hands together right away, and be frustrated with yourself. I always tell my students to practice smarter and not harder. You really don't need to stay at the piano for hours to make progress. For your practice sessions, Plan out specific and obtainable goals that you would like to accomplish. Write out how you can achieve those goals. Set the practice time and play. And before you know it, you have the piece, whole piece down in no time. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can get more practicing tips on beautiful music. And if there's any other piano pieces that you like to have practicing tips on, leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to include that in our next videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time for more practicing tips on piano music. Bye!